Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about probability line. Before we move on to this video, I hope you watch my video on probability. Okay, here we have a an, an line. And the line is called probability line. And on the on this side, on the probability line, there is zero. And on the other side of the probability line, there is one. And zero is an impossible event. And one is a certain event. So here we have the numbers one through six. So let's take some examples to understand the, the possibility line. Okay, so the first example we have is is the probability the probability of getting seven okay so the probability of getting seven is so you know that the numbers are only up to one and six is seven there no so is there any sevens here no so we're gonna write zero on top so if there's zero on top how many numbers are there in total? You know there are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna write six on the bottom. Zero over six is zero. So that means the probability of getting seven is impossible, is an impossible event. Okay, so now let's talk about a certain event. So the, the probability of getting the, a natural number is, you know the nat there are six natural numbers here. So we write six here. Now we'll move on the bottom. Here we put six, the total numbers there are. So that means we're gonna write the total numbers even down there. So six will go on the bottom. So it will become six over six. Now, six over six is one. So one can be as one is a certain event. So let's see. So is my is this probability value minus one can go on the probability line? No, something is wrong. It cannot. But why? It cannot go on the, the probability number line because minus one is, is lower than, it's smaller than zero. So, so that's why minus one cannot go on. Minus one, the prob probability probability cannot go on the probability number line. Okay, so can the number two go on the probability number line? This probability value number two cannot go on the number line. Why? Because two is bigger than one and the Probabilities, numbers can only be in between zero and one. That's the most important part in the probability number line. So the number, the probability value two is not allowed to be on the probability line. So here in between, there is the numbers one half. So on this part of the half, it is unlikely. 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 And on this side of the half, it is likely. So, this part of the one, it's a 100%. So, and on this side, on zero, it's zero percent. And in the middle, it is an 
it isn't even, there's an even chance. So this is 50% oh, dash 50%. So here, if you see, let's see. So let's, the probability of getting, of getting the odd numbers and the probability of getting the even numbers. So how many, what is the probability on the probability over here, right? What are all the odd numbers here? The odd numbers are one, three, and five. There are three odd numbers on the line. So we write three on top. What will go on the bottom? On the bottom line, there would be how many numbers are there in total? Six. So it would be three over six. Now let's find the probability of getting an even chance. There, the even numbers here are two, four, and six. There are three even numbers. And how many are, how many numbers are there in total? Six. So we write six on the bottom. Three over six and three over six are one over two. That's why we put one over two in the middle. So we talk and so there is a chance that the the odd the probability of getting an odd number can have a chance. Alright, let's review what we learned today. We learned about the probability line. So on one side, we had zero, which is an impossible event. We had an example of it to understand. And we had number one. Number one, the number one was a certain event. We had an example on that right here. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.